Hello and welcome to another Naughty Egg Draw. I'm your lovely host Jake and today we are doing something just a little bit different for this channel and I'm going to be doing some photo manipulation. But Jake, I thought this week's video was supposed to be part 3 of your sculpting video. Well, you're wrong. That'll be the next video. I'm waiting on some materials to do the casting for that, but anyways how about we focus on today's video and get started. So coming into this I didn't really have a strong idea of what I wanted to make. I started going through the internet to find a bunch of pictures of clouds, water, and stars. Once I got a bunch of them together I thought it would be cool to have a portal in the sky with something coming out of it. I wanted to mix two elements together that normally didn't go together like water and clouds. Once I had that idea in place it was pretty easy to find images that worked well with the sky void portal idea. Now instead of taking an image from the internet of a real object that was square like this, I thought I'd make my own. This was a way to really mix different styles together to see if I could pull off a decent image in the end. As you can tell when I'm working with photos like this, I utilize the masking tool a lot to help blend the different images together. Another pro tip along with using the masking tool is using a soft brush to help with all the blending. I will note that I was only using my mouse for this piece, just because I wanted to show you guys that are out there who don't have a drawing tablet that you can actually make pretty cool digital art without one. You can do all of it with just your mouse, you just have to be a little bit more patient. So I know that this is sped up a lot and it's hard for me to go step by step on what I'm doing in this video. This type of art is a little out of the normal niche of my other work, but if you guys enjoy this piece in the end, let me know if you want me to do another video down the road like this, where I can actually slow it down and teach you guys what I'm doing and how I'm using the tools. At this point in the piece I knew I wanted something to be coming out of the portal with the water but I really didn't know what I wanted to have coming out of it. I started out with the idea of having a boat and played around with that for a bit. That's the fun thing about doing photo manipulation like this where you're already defying the laws of physics. You can just play around with a bunch of different stuff until you find something that really catches your eye. And this is a great point to point out that you shouldn't just go with your first idea just because it was your first idea. I played around with the boat idea for a while before I completely scrapped it. I really thought that I liked it and that's why I kept it in for so long but after a while it felt like it was just out of place. If that can even make sense with a scene where there's a portal in the sky gushing water out of it. So once I decided to scrap it, I started playing around with maybe adding some more portals in the picture. But after playing with that for a while, I scrapped that as well. It just felt like it would start to become a little overpopulated with a bunch of objects if I started to steer in that direction. But while I was working on those other portals, I thought of what I wanted to have come out of the portals. And that was a giant sized monster fish. I guess it's the fish that transcends space and time at this point. Once I had this idea down I utilized the same methods I had throughout the entire piece and using a lot of masking and blending modes to make things come to life. And I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of this and make sure you stick around till the end to see the finished piece.
All right, everyone, that is it. Our fish portal creation sky monster is done. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Make sure to keep your eyes open for future videos on this channel. I do have a couple ideas of some future series I want to work on, and those are going to be coming out in the next couple weeks. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video till the end. If you haven't yet, make sure you smack that sub button and hit that little bell button so you guys know when I'm posting these videos. And like always, keep drawing, and until next time, bye!